we are finally in the car it has been a morning to say the least <laughs> i don't know what it is but whenever you're trying to get your toddler ready it is like the biggest battle in the entire world to get their shoes on to do anything to get out of the house and now that i have two kids it is just impossible to get anywhere on time so this morning has been rough i really wanted to get the kids out to the park so i'm gonna go get some coffee right now and then we're gonna go to the park get brie out for a little bit and Bo before her nap time um i can tell she's getting a little sleepy so we're gonna go do that because the weather usually changes in the afternoon and i always want to get her outside for a little bit but yeah it has been a morning mama needs some coffee i'm so tired Bo was up the entire night just feeding and cluster feeding all night so i literally did not get any sleep i live on coffee now i did my makeup and my hair for once um i recently just did my roots because they were so bad so at least I look decent and I don't look scary. <laughs> so yeah, we are going to go to the park, get some fresh air because the kids need it. I need it. I need a break. My mental state lately has been so difficult being in quarantine, like my depression and anxiety. I've been really trying to watch out for that. Um, just because being stuck in the house, it's boring and i'm trying to entertain a toddler and an infant and it's just it weighs a lot on your mental state so i think just some fresh air will do me some good and do the kids some good just so we can get out of the house Bo has a doctor's appointment later today for his one month checkup i cannot believe my baby is a month old it is so crazy I feel like I just had him, and sorry, Brie is watching something on her tablet right now, so if you can hear that in the background, that's what that is. But yeah, Bo has his one month appointment later today, so hopefully he doesn't have to get any shots or anything, but they will just check and make sure he is all good and healthy. But yeah, I feel like I just had him. It is so crazy how fast time flies when you have kids. Like the days feel so long but the years are short i know everyone says that but it's true like i feel like i just was in the hospital just going through this whole quarantine pandemic giving birth situation so i'm so happy he is healthy happy he is growing like a weed he is out of newborn clothes officially i tried to put a newborn outfit on him the other day and his legs didn't even fit i felt so bad so he is officially in zero to three month clothes my baby boy is getting so big we are gonna do that later today and then probably just hang out for the rest of the day i don't really want to do too much um it is pretty hot today it is close to 85 so i don't want the kids to overheat you know it's hard with a newborn in the summer they just overheat so much so we are gonna go to the park right now i'm gonna go get coffee and i'll take you guys along with us so we just got to the park mama's got her duncan so i am super excited about that i just got a large caramel iced coffee i've been obsessed with duncan lately i don't know if it's just because i've been drinking dutch bros for ever and i was so obsessed with dutch, dutch bros for a while because they just put one in my town like super close to me so i was like craving it and on a dutch bros binger if you guys don't have dutch bros in your area or you don't know what i'm talking about it's more of like a western kind of coffee place um but so good so different i'm just kind of over starbucks i don't know i feel like it's pretty expensive for what you get i'm just over the taste so i've been on a duncan binger lately i've been getting caramel iced coffees almost every single day just trying to switch it up so i just picked up that i don't even know if coffee really helps me anymore it's honestly more for the taste at this point because i'm always tired once you have kids you will never sleep normal ever again like i wake up at the slightest sound and even when I don't have the kids, like I'm, I have like a night to myself or whatever, I still cannot fully sleep. Like I am up all the time. So yeah, I've just learned to kind of accept it and drink coffee. 
<laughs> so yeah we just pulled up to the park i'm gonna get the kids out get bow in his sling i'm gonna get sunscreen on for brie and me because i don't want to get burned it is so hot today we probably should be around water but nothing is open quite yet around us like the splash pads and everything i'm hoping they open this summer because that's literally all we do in the summer is go to the splash pads because it is so hot in colorado so nothing um as far as water is quite open yet but in my area in my town mostly all of the restaurants are open now it is so weird to see people like sitting down at a restaurant with no masks on i've just gotten used to this whole quarantine life we've kind of got our routine down we do almost the same thing every single day we get up do our morning routine and then go to the park so i've gotten used to that and i have not taken the kids out in public like to a store or the grocery store what's wrong did it die all right well we're at the park okay close to her nap time so she's pretty fussy but anyways I've not taken the kids to the store or grocery store since before COVID happened so I'm really nervous still to take them anywhere in public because they're so little and Bo's a newborn so I don't know if we'll be going out like to a public area anytime soon with them but we'll kind of see how everything plays out but Brie is kind of getting fussy right now I know it's super close to her nap time so I'm gonna get her out and get all the kids ready and then we'll vlog a little bit at the park are you ready <laughs> one two three whoa was that fast do you want to go faster one two You ready? Ready? Say ready. <gasps> Whoa! Do I go again? Okay. Oh my gosh, you're so high. This park is really cool because they have the kind of adult um, zip line, I think is what you call it, and they have the baby one as well that ties them in. So she really loves this park. Are you done? Okay. Are you gonna go on this slide? Go down the slide. <laughs> Ready, go, whoa. Whoa. Water. Was that fun? Should mommy go? Can mommy go on the slide? Whoa! Bo is just chilling down there. Poor guy. So, Brie wants me to go down the slide. Do you want mommy go? Are you gonna push me? Okay, push me. <gasps> I'm a little too big for this. <laughs> That kind of hurt my butt. <laughs> that slide was fast. 
it has these like little like rolly kind of things so he goes super fast and yeah it was fun Whoa. Which which one? Whoa! Oh my gosh, it is so hot out here, you guys. I'm sweating. I wore makeup today, but that probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> I can tell Bree's sweating too on her nose. Bree, is it hot? It's hot out here, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Are you having fun? Oh, mom. What? Are you done? Yeah. All right. There you go, baby. Whoa. Crawl through. What are you doing? Watch your head. Let's go play the music. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. so cool does that one make noise do it down here look look do it like that where you want it is the next day Yesterday we were so tired from playing at the park that I just honestly didn't even want to pick up the camera So I realized that I didn't even finish telling you guys about Bo and his one month appointment It went really really well And currently Bo is sleeping and Brie is eating some lunch So if you hear her tablet in the background, she is watching a show Don't mind that um, but yes, his appointment went really really well at the pediatrician. He is growing weight like crazy he is currently 9 pounds and he is 20.5 inches long. So he is about the 50% tile for weight and for length as well. So his doctor is really happy about his weight gain. That's a really great sign in newborns is them gaining weight. That's what you want in the first month is for them to gain some weight. It's currently on Enfamil Gentle Ease just because we use that for Brie and it really helped with her lactose problems. So I just automatically chose that one for him because it's supposed to help with fussiness, gas, colic, all those good things that I wanted to avoid with him. He is such an easy baby from Brie that it's just like a complete 180 and she was so fussy such a hard newborn and he is just so chill like this is literally what he does all day every day he wakes up when he wants to eat he poops and then he goes back to sleep and he's maybe awake for 30 minutes to an hour each day so but he is the calmest easiest baby and such a relief because toddler stage right now is absolute madness i swear like i argue with my daughter on a daily basis of things that we need to get done and just like getting dressed and getting out of the house it's just like a battle with everything and I'm learning to pick and choose my battles here and there because you just don't want to be arguing with a two-year-old so yeah we've been dealing with that Brie has lately been showing some aggression towards him she's been really kind of fussy and angry I don't know if it's towards Bo like him being home but We've been dealing with her just showing some signs of aggression towards him, wanting to like hit him and try to pick him up and stuff. So if you guys have any tips on how to deal with toddlers when you're bringing a new baby home from the hospital, please let me know in the comments because I need all the help that I can get and all the advice because 
it's been really hard. I don't want to like jump immediately and discipline her. I want her to understand like why she can't be doing that. And so that's what I've been trying to research and find out is just the ways to go about it and not just like reprimand each time that she does it or show signs of that. So please, please, please let me know if you guys have any advice. Like I said, I need all the help I can get. So Bo is doing great at his one month checkup. I did express to her that he has been uh, spinning up quite a bit, so I'm not sure if his belly is just getting used to the formula still or if it's like a sign of reflux. Brie did have reflux when she was a baby, and so we had to give her Zantac every single day, like a prescription. So I did express those signs to, her, uh, to his doctor yesterday, just telling her that he has been spitting up a lot. The other day, he actually did projectile vomit like five times in one day. So I know that's a sign of acid reflux. And just if they're having irritability when they're feeding, it seems like when he's feeding, he like is trying to catch his breath. And so I really have to continue to like take the bottle out of his mouth and like let him catch his breath so that he doesn't take in a lot of air. I bought like colic bottles, I bought fussiness bottles and gas bottles that help with that. We have the Dr. Brown's ones, the wide neck bottles, so they're supposed to help with gas. So yeah, we're keeping an eye on his reflux. It makes me really, really nervous when he is sleeping on his back because he sleeps in his bassinet beside the bed. So I just keep him upright for about 30 minutes after he's feeding and it's supposed to help kind of let everything work its way down like it's supposed to. So we're keeping an eye on that. Um, some other updates, he is sleeping in his bassinet, like I said, on his back for probably about three to four hour stretches. Last night he slept from, let's see, it was about 10.30 to uh, two o'clock in the morning. So that was the longest he's ever slept. And so I'm hoping that if we stick on this routine, he will sleep a little bit longer throughout the night. He did get a bath last night, so I don't know if that helps, but I don't want to continue to give him bath every single night just because he has dry skin. So yeah, that is where we're at. He is sleeping great. He is healthy. He is the most perfect baby. So yes, that is all for Bo's one month checkup and um, we did stop at, I know I said I wasn't going to go in the store with the kids, but we did stop at Marshall's. So I just wanted to show you guys a little haul that I did pick up from Marshall's yesterday. So I picked up some baby items and just some random things. So this haul's going to be super, super random. So the first one, I picked up this spiral and teether like activity toy set. It looks like this. So it goes on like anything it's spiral so you can put it on their stroller you can put it on their car seat anything like that we did have one of these for Brie when she was a baby and she absolutely loved it it kept her so busy in the car so I wanted to pick up this as well and in the Marshalls that's near me that we went to everything was on sale like literally everything was on either clearance or was a cheap price. I don't know if it's just coming out of quarantine. They're just wanting to get like all their stock um, out and get new things. So everything was on sale, which is great, especially when you're trying to find baby products. So picked this up and it has the teether along with it as well that has that material that makes noise. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna like it. I'm gonna open it today and put it on his car seat. And the next item that I did pick up, I picked up this um, duck baby pool. Looks like this. Super cute. I thought it would be super fun for him and Bree to uh, kind of play in the backyard a little bit. It's for ages one to three, but I feel like once he's able to kind of sit up on his own, I can kind of like hold him and he can play in there for a little bit. So this was on sale as well. Super cute duck pool. And then I had some sunshades, but I don't know where they went. I think we kind of just got rid of them once Brie was a little bit older. So I saw these, they're the pop open shade set by Newbie. So I picked up these on clearance as well. It comes in a three pack, which is really, really nice if you lose one, I guess, because 
uh, the way the car seats sit in my car they have a little bit of sun that kind of gets on the side of their face and I just want to avoid them getting as much sun as possible so they can have a rear shade and it has two side shades as well so I guess I could put one on either side and then put one on the very back which is kind of cool so I'm gonna open that today and install that in my car and the next item that I did pick up in the baby section, I picked up this Play-Doh set for Brie. I don't know if you guys can see that with the lighting, but this was super cheap. It was like $15 for this many colors of Play-Doh. Um, it comes with 16 tools and accessories. It does say age three and up, but Brie, we've been playing with a lot of Play-Doh actually at my mom's house lately and she's been really interested. So I wanted to pick her up some more Play-Doh. We do have a balcony out here and she has a little picnic table. So I wanted her to have something to be able to play with when we're stuck kind of inside on like a rainy day or something. So it comes with 18 different colors of Play-Doh and it comes with like a little kitchen set, um, just some other little accessories that she can press into that. I used to love, love, love Play-Doh when I was a little girl. Like I remember, I had this baking set one and I could like roll the spaghetti out in wow. the cooking one. So I remember I absolutely loved doing that when I was a little girl. So here is all the accessories that it does come with. So I know she'll have a great time playing with that. That is all the, that is all like the baby toy items that I did pick up. So the next items that I did pick up are some clothing items. I picked up this really cute uh, four-piece set for Brie. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like yellow and it has a little pattern on the top. Comes with some pink shorts and then it comes with a white shirt and then some gray shorts like that. And these ones were on sale as well. And then for Bo, I did find this Ray Dunn baby collection little uh, onesie set that was on sale, a little three pack. I don't know if you guys can see that. I didn't even know Ray Dunn had a baby section or kind of a collection that they offered. So the Marshalls that I actually shopped at that's close to me, they had a ton of Ray Dunn things in the baby section, which I thought was super, super cute. So the top one says Mama's Sunshine. And then the next one says mommy and me and then the next one says mama's sidekick sorry trying to multitask right now so I thought that was super cute and this is in six to nine months so we've got quite a little bit of ways before he can wear that and then I also did see um, also in the Ray Dunn baby section there were some bibs that were on sale so I picked up three of them this first one and they each have come in like a three pack so I thought that these were super cute because they're white and they can literally go with everything. So I picked up this one right here in the three pack. It says mom's bestie, dad's sidekick, and hangry in this little collection right here. And then this next one, the top one says hangry. Um, the bottom one says but first milk. <laughs> and then the last one says sleepyhead. And then the last little three pack set that I picked up, the first one says Milk Monster. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, and the next one says Naps and Snacks. And then Living the Dream. So those were super cute. I picked up um, a ton of those. So I have nine little bandana bibs in the Ray Dunn collection. I'm excited to put those on him. And then I picked up some different leggings for myself. Like I said, everything was on clearance, so I wanted to pick up quite a few things. So I picked up these leggings. They're like a magenta color, and they have pockets on the side. And each of these leggings were, I believe, like $12. So I picked these up after having a baby. You know, everything is kind of everywhere and I've got a lot of loose skin and still trying to lose the baby weight so I wanted to get some leggings where uh, I wasn't restricted because my maternity leggings are quite large on me now they're really really stretchy so it's hard to wear those on a daily basis and then the leggings before I got pregnant are a little bit too tight so it's just uncomfortable so I wanted to pick up some new ones that were cute and had the pockets so that I could put things in them when I'm kind of out and about with the kids so I picked up this color I picked up 
um, a black this is like a camo kind of color you guys can kind of see that on camera it has the pockets as well I believe these were all from the same brand um, so they're all ankle waisted and um, or they're all ankle length and high waisted so I picked up this color and then I picked up like the green camo color. These ones were from a different brand, but they have the pockets on the side, which was really nice. And they're still, they look a little bit shorter. They look more of like a capri, um, but they are high-waisted as well to hug in all that extra skin. And then I love some tie-dye, so I picked up these ones that were super cute and on sale as well. So these ones don't have the pocket, but they're still high-waisted, so I feel like those will be really cute and I hope they fit <laughs> and then I picked up I saw this Adidas hat at the store sorry the lighting's a little bit weird it's like a muted kind of pink color and it has the rose gold emblem so that was really cute not that I needed any of this stuff but well I needed the leggings but you know how it goes when you go into Marshalls you just pick up random things at least I do and then I grabbed some shoes, so they had a ton of shoes on sale, so I picked up these cute little sandals. These are actually from Aldo, and they were on sale for $20. Super, super cute. I've already worn them a little bit, so you can see on the bottom, but they have the cute little buckle, and yeah, they're just perfect for summer. I needed some different shoes, and they were such a great price. And then I picked up these black little suede uh, sneakers are more of like the high top kind of style but they have suede on the top and just like a muted black and these are from the brand cushion air and these ones were on sale as well as you guys can tell I have a huge foot I wear a size 10 so don't judge me but yeah these are super cute you can never have too many like black pairs of sneakers in your in your collection I did pick up some really really cute shoes that were on sale for $20 as well these are the first state brand but they look like this I used to have so many of these kind of like shoes uh, when I was working but now that I'm at home I kind of like got rid of everything and like purged my closet but I saw these and they were on sale so even better but I love like the white color super super cute they have like the cutout on the side so I'm super super excited to try these out for summer and just to kind of dress up some outfits whenever I'm not wearing leggings and a t-shirt <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was kind of super random and all over the place. We just had a bunch of different days put together. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on baby Bo. Can you say bye? Say bye. <laughs> so he is wearing a zero to three month outfit. Today he's getting so, so big. <laughs> so sweet but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video say bye <laughs> say bye guys <laughs> say bye bye say bye to the camera <laughs> she's being shy bye guys <laughs>